Hi, in this video, we are going to discuss about Java. We see the topics, what is Java, history, versions and editions, what you need to have to develop and run any Java program, how Java achieves portability, JDK versus JRE versus JVM, <coughs> and you will see a first Java program. What is Java? It is a simple yet powerful, object-oriented, platform-independent, and high-level programming language. It is simple because it is very easy to learn and easy to use. It is powerful. You can develop any applications using Java. Java is object-oriented. That means we use objects in our application. They are reusable objects. It is similar to the real world entity. Java is platform independent. That means you can write a Java program in any platform and you can run it in any platform. You will see more about it. And it is a high level programming language because it is very similar to human like language. It is not like language assembly language which is hard to use and hard to learn you will see the history behind java it is developed in the year 1995 a team of five engineers headed by james gosling developed the language original name was oak the project was green project initially java was developed for embedded application later it is widely being used for enterprise applications. Java has versions and editions. The latest version is 21. It has three editions Java Micro Edition, Java Standard Edition, Java Enterprise Edition. Java Micro Edition is used for developing small, small applications which are running in microcontroller devices standard edition is used by developing standalone applications and enterprise edition is used for developing enterprise wide applications what we need to have in order to develop and run any java program we need a platform platform is operating system plus associated hardware so we have platforms like windows linux solaris unix and so on and we need a editor it can be even a notepad or any sophisticated ide ide means integrated development environment and we require a jdk java development kit or sdk okay right. So we'll see Java how it achieves portability, that is platform independent. In order to understand that, we need to first see how the traditional programming language works. For example, programming language like C or C++, they are not platform independent. If you compile that language, the source code will be converted into platform specific object code and that will run only in that platform. For example, if you compare a C code in Windows platform, it will be converted into object code for that specific Windows platform and it can run, run only in Windows platform. It is something like, suppose a person speak in Tamil and a translator translate that into Telugu, then only Telugu person can understand that. But Java is actually a platform independent language. It is achieved by this way. For example, a person speaks in Tamil. Whatever he speaks will be converted into English using a translator. The second translator will convert the content in English into a specific language. But suppose if you want to communicate with a Kannada person, it will be converted into Kannada. If you want to communicate with a Telugu person, it will be converted into Telugu. Same way, Java is 
first compiled into a byte code then that byte code will be further converted into object code of that specific platform for example if you want to run that byte code in windows platform windows specific jvm will convert it into windows specific object code if you want to run the same byte code into a yeah, linux platform then the linux specific jvm will convert that into a linux specific object code so that is how java achieves platform independent feature so in this case byte code is platform independent and jvms are platform specific let us also understand jdk jre and jvm JDK is Java development kit. It contains JRE and development tools. JRE in turn contains JVM and libraries. JVM is Java virtual machine. Now let us see a, a code, source code. Okay. We will write a small program and we will run that program and see the output. So let us use a notepad in this case. program simply prints hello i can say hello world need to store save this file with the name of the class name it store it using the extension java Now let us open the command prompt. You need to go to the folder where that program is stored. Now we will use the command Java C, which is the compiler. There is a spelling mistake. Java C first program. So now it is compiled. Let us see the go to the folder and see the class file. So the class file dot class file is now created right the source code is compiled into a dot plus file now we can run the code by using the command java we can see the hello world is printed so it's our first program in the coming upcoming video we will see about variables data types and so on okay let us meet and discuss the other topics in the upcoming session bye